Look at that ah. boar. It's a frag. I lost my froggy. Because it, it, it's a windy and sunny day. You can, you can just shut up. Okay. Yes. Yes. I think this is a. Uh, I think this is where we get the real lunkers. Sorry. Ugh. It's okay. It's all right. We just have to get the fish. No, I was shaking my leg, and I violently shake my leg because of a dog. Barf, oh. barf. <laughs> you know me so well. I know. It's funny. You're uh. funny. <laughs> what? So anyway, we just looked at this thing called uh, the wave, or whatever it's called. It's, it's the fake 4chan thing, where they convinced some people that they could microwave their iPhones and that would charge them. I will say this now, don't fucking do it. Of course I did not do it, I saw the aftermath. Besides, even if that was a thing, I would not trust microwaving anything. <laughs> well, eh, well, even if it did work, which it doesn't, my, all microwaves are different. And not everyone's gonna be like, Oh, my microwave's a 700 watt. Mine's a 1250 watt. You know, no one's gonna do that. No one's gonna check it and be there like... There was actually a thing on the fucking website where it's like, if you have a higher wattage, you need to adjust your things as shown, blah blah blah. They made a fake app, too. No, it was on the fucking little thing that I linked to you. Oh, I thought, I thought like, this was, like, so elaborate that they made an app about it, too. Oh. And then once you put it in the microwave, it's like, lol, JK, your phone's you just dead. can get oddly motivated, but not that oddly motivated. I don't know, man. They made Kettle Shoujo. <laughs> I mean, think about it, Colton. They made Kettle Shoujo. Think about it. Anyway. Some of our excess is due to 4chan. But you know what? I just screwed us over by saying that. Sorry, Sean. Yay! Oh, no. You mean you will have it out by December? <laughs> I mean we'll have it out by December of 2018. <laughs> well, if your 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 scheduling isn't a problem, Colton, we can adjust to your schedule. It's our other commentator's schedule that we need to work on. <sighs> you ruined yeah. the surprise. <laughs> yeah. What were we talking about? I don't know. I just we just all went blank for a second. <laughs> what? I don't know. What? I'm playing Final Fantasy Ball. Oh, a spotted bass. Spotted bass. Spotted bass. Where, are bass. Where are the sea basses? Uh, at, at the sea. Oh. We're in a lake. We have regular bass. Is it a lake? Just a smaller sea? <laughs> sure. Why not? This place has nothing. You have nothing. No, nope, what? It has a bass. You're a bass. Okay. Like I said, the crayfish is the best lure. Always use the crayfish when in doubt. Didn't you lose that? In the third lake. In the fourth lake, you get it. You, every time you either save or quit or, res or do a new lake, you get your lure back. Programming. I don't know why, but... I don't know... Yeah, programming. Oh, it's... This game was made in, like the mid 90s so <laughs> yes not even was. the mid like the early mid 90s times where everyone thought that denim was the thing we could put denim, denim on denim. anything and no one would care and everyone was like denim 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 <laughs> god damn it Sam. oh how were, what were you what, what else was i going to say how about not that oh, okay what is so uh, the I've, been playing, I've been playing Sonic Lost World recently, and uh, uh, let's just say I want to like it. Sonic Lost World, like I don't know, it's cool looking, but it it, it has its moments. It has its moments of trying to be good, and then like certain things, some levels are just terrible because they're not designed around Sonic's control style. Like his play style is not designed with these levels in mind. Only eight pounds. Worst fish ever. Don't buy. With my fabulous glasses. You know. You know the one. <laughs> you know. Now we're under the bridge. I can tell because there's an eerie fog in the distance. But no, I, I like Sonic Lost World to an extent. It's just that when some of the levels are bad, they're really, really bad. 
Like, the ones where Sonic is flying in the air, <coughs> the trajectory is stupid. I... And then it... Like, like where, how he moves and how he controls, it doesn't make any sense. And the fact is, like, in the later level, you get to fly around with Tails. Why could like, and I know that Tails was gone, but why couldn't Eggman give him something? Or why couldn't, like... Why would Eggman so give him anything? Because Eggman, don't you remember? We were playing it not too long ago, oh, and yeah. Eggman was helping him because the, the the Deadly Six were like evil, even though like we saved their lives. I rescued a princess. What did you do today? Uh, I um, I tried eating a rock. <laughs> well, Isaiah's got me beat. Uh, did any of you two ever play Sly Cooper? Yes. Um, the, the trilogy is on the PS3. I'm thinking of picking it up. That's not the question I fucking asked, Isaiah. <laughs> uh, so, uh, I've been thinking about picking it up, as, and I haven't. And, see as how Sanzaro Games has made, it ported the trilogy and is working on Thieves, and worked on Thieves in Time, and they're doing the, uh, Sonic Boom 3DS game. Hey. Eh. It's worth it, probably, to try it out. I don't know why, but I just... I love... Fucking uh, sucker punch games. Like, have they been doing anything recently? I haven't been paying attention. I thought they were working on a game. I don't know. They're working on something. Like, are they still even working on Sly Cooper? Or did they just punch that? Or not punch that? Oh, no, punch Sanzaro it. Games took over that. Sanzaro Games took over the license for that. Oh, Sucker Punch? That's why I like that game. Sucker Punch was behind Infamous. I thought Sucker Punch. I thought the same people that made Sly Cooper were the same people behind uh, Rocket. Yeah, they were. Like I was playing Rocket, and they're like, "Yeah, Sucker Punch. They're awesome. What other games did they make that I love? Like Sly Cooper. Fuck yeah!" And then I'm I just like, "I'm right looking now. up Sucker Punch, and I'm just like, infamous. Fuck yeah!" Well, okay, Sucker Punch is a company that's consistently good, and they, you know, they know when to stop making a game series. But it's nice to still see Sly Cooper still being made. Yeah, I still think they I, have I still all think three of the games at the place near here. I only got the first one though. Well, the thing is, I think I think Sly Cooper still is viable to have more games made of it since it's only got four games in its franchise. Uh, same goes for it only has I mean three games in its franchise. No, there's a fourth game. For the PS3, Thieves in Time. Oh, no. Senzaro Games awesome. took over the the series. Oh, you fuck them. Yeah, they've only literally worked on three series. It one's not even a series. They worked on Rocket, then they went on to work on Rocket Sly. needs to come back. Rocket needs to come back. Could you imagine a sequel? No. They don't need to make a sequel. <laughs> they yeah. just... Rocket's fine as it is. But, like, they did Rocket, and then they wor moved on to work on Sly Cooper. And then right after that, they worked on Infamous. They've done nothing but good games. At least in my You're opinion. You're right. Honestly, no, but the Sly Cooper trilogy is one of the most consistent platformer trilogies I know of. I've only ever played the first one. Like, I've never. I've heard all three games ones. are. I've heard. I've heard all three games are good. So I, probably, it's probably worth checking them out. I just love the character of their games, you know. Oh yeah, Infamous may have a realistic tone, but Infamous I don't think takes itself that seriously. No, not really. Even when though it's real they people, release a DLC pack where you become a vampire hunter. That's because awesome. Because why not? Uh huh. Dun, 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 uh, dun, 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 I don't dun. remember which one it was, but in Infamous, you there was a DLC where you became a vampire hunter. Like they just randomly started appearing, and you could become a vampire yourself and feast on people because they were just like, why the fuck not? Well, I will feast on your blood, boy. Like you could turn into a bat and everything. Good. I like it. Um. So, oh, there's a big one. That's a huge fish. Oh, get that lunker. Yeah. You know, because we're fishing. Totally not talking about other things and playing things. So, um... <laughs> so, um... About that black bass, um... I talked about when I picked up this game. I already talked about my history with it. Talk uh, about everything there is to talk about this game. It's fucking fishing. What more can you say? Oh. Um, well, I mean, it's fun to play. It's 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 a, it's a good time sink. Is it, you is know, it like one of those time wasters where you just kind of sit there and be like, you know what, I have nothing good to do for the next two hours, let's finish. Yeah, actually. Um, sometimes I just get like a nice drink and I'm just like, 
I'm gonna play fishing for a couple hours, and then, you know, maybe I'll stop and I'll pick it up later. I wish I could have one and of those moods. I want to sit down and press A on a controller for a couple hours, for no apparent reason. RPGs? Oh, you got me there. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> let's be real. You got me there. <laughs> I mean, look at me, I've clocked in, I, I completed the National Pokedex last year in uh, Black and White 2. I actually did it. I I did it. I sat down and did it all by myself. Oh, I didn't. I, I you're a big boy now. I <laughs> and now I have to do it again for all alpha, by yourself. Alpha, uh, alpha sapphire and omega ruby. Words are hard. Yeah, I haven't decided which version I'm gonna get. Are any of you guys uh, gonna be getting you, the ruby Did you version? see the? Did, I'm did, did you sapphire. see that the UK? Did you see that the UK is getting uh special 2DSs that are see-through in red and blue for what? the game? They suck. But here's the thing, though, Colton. No, the new 3DS is coming out. Yeah. And here's the other thing. Here's the real ball kicker. Australia and New Zealand are getting it in November, and we don't get it till next year. Getting what? Oh, the new 3DS. I know why Nintendo's doing that. They wanna they wanna boost the market of uh, the Wii U games. Yeah, they don't want to take too much focus away from it. I mean, I'm, I'm guessing because uh, Nintendo of Australia's they just, you know like, market is so small anyway, it doesn't really matter. Like they had a good idea going with um. That's a big it. fish. But no, they had a good idea going with Nintendo Land with eight um with a uh, non-synchronous gameplay, whatever you want to fucking call it. Where well, I mean, one Warriors person makes has something that, different so. than everyone else, and it kind of plays like Mario Party. But well, I mean, Hyrule Warriors kind of has that, where you know, one person controls, one person literally uses one screen to control themselves, and the other person uses the the uh, the TV. Well, Sonic Boom, Sonic Boom's gonna make use of that too. Well, because, that's different uh, because like you're both playing the same thing, but like Nintendo Land, one person has like an overhead Pac-Man style view. And while the other oh, people have like you mean like Pac-Man versus okay, yeah, I, like I gotcha. That. They need to make I, I, like I don't think Nintendo themselves need to make it, but a bunch of companies need to be like, we can make awesome ports of certain board games onto the Wii U because we ha now have the technology to keep information hidden. Could you imagine playing like, um, freaking, what's that game called? Uh. It's the one where it's like the mansion and one person goes crazy or something. Cards against humanity? <laughs> God no. They would never put that in the Wii U. I don't know, man. Uh, there's there's What's lack the of quality called? control on the Wii U uh, eShop right now, right Sean? Creepy haunted house board game. Google. The problem Magic. the problem with the Wii U eShop is that there's lack of quality control right now. Yeah. And it's really hurting I think it's gonna hurt ah, the eShop in the long run. The trail at House on the Hill. Have you ever heard that game? No. Um how it is works it any good? It's really good. Um how it works is there's a goal. You have to each person has their own goal. At first you start out you all start out as a survivor. So you have to go through and accomplish like the group goal. And then at one point at a certain point in the game one person is given a secret card, and then they are given a condition to win, and everyone else has to continue their condition. So, like, they could become a cannibal, and they have three cannibal buddies, and they have to try and eat everyone else. Or that sounds fun. Yeah. So, like, whoever becomes like the off person gets given the gamepad, and they have their own set of rules while everyone else is on the big screen. It would be awesome. There's your problem, though. I, people don't want to play board games on a game system. It's just I not a thing. Like, well, honestly, that's, that's you, though, Colton. You're well, you're like the niche of the niche market. Okay, Isaiah, riddle me this: What the fuck are fifty percent of all iPhone games? Uh, well, that's different because no, like, it's not. It is a Col video game version of a board game. They literally have Uno on iPhone. Like, but Colton, people will but play it because you don't have any setup. You just get Colton, right in shovelware is like that's the shovelware's paradise is on the iPhone, and that's just basically anyone can put anything on the iPhone. Well, yeah, I know that, but like, <laughs> like there's even something saying. like that, um, for like iPhone and iPads, where like you have one iPad, and you have a bunch of iPhones, and you can play a game on it. Like no one's yeah. Like there is something I, like I guess okay, you're right. we should end the part. But, but, <laughs> yeah, part's over. See you guys for the finale of Bla Basin's Black Bass. Yay. 
Shantat. 